Welcome to our ICT lesson series on using Microsoft Word. Um, right in front of me here, or right in front of you, you'll see I have an example document that is filled with some of the most atrocious examples of the use of English language I've probably, and hopefully you've probably ever seen. Well, Microsoft has built in some tools um, for checking grammar, for checking spelling, uh, they're notoriously well known for two things. One is for being pretty bad at actually checking spelling and grammar, and also for making people complacent, which is to say that make people rely on the spelling and grammar checker um, with really disastrous results. So in front of us here we have this marketing bad, marketing good document. It, it actually pains me to read some of this financing good for marketing show me money question mark question mark explanation point exclamation point finance operation and okay I can't even read anymore it's actually awful it's kinda like listening to someone translating something in Google Translator but let's see what we do have access to and what we can change and what we can fix take a look at the top here this is the review tab the review tab gives you access to uh, some tools in terms of uh, checking spelling and so forth in the language there's the translate and language section now unfortunately on our version of word at school uh, we're unable to install dictionaries so you will not be able to use these functions or at least not very well so we'll pretty much ignore them Spelling and grammar, thesaurus, well, thesaurus is the same thing, we don't have access to a dictionary, just what's built in. Um, but we do have some stuff that's going to be activated no matter what we have. Uh, the spelling and grammar indicators. So spelling indicators are in red, so you see this um, word here has been underlined in red, probably, which is supposed to be probably. And if we right click on it, you'll end up with, wow, actually no correct version of the word that I'm looking for. That shows a limitation right there. The blue underlined word uh, it indicates that there's some sort of grammar error, which is to say the word would is in fact an English language word. However, it is most certainly not the right version. I would tell you the correct version is would. So I've just accessed this context menu by right clicking on the words that are underlined. I'm sure all of you have seen this. Uh, I'm sure all of you use this fairly regularly. Uh, this sort of error indicator is present in all sorts of things including in web browsers now so no news there. If we're in the review tab however and we hit the spelling and grammar a little checker is going to come up on the right hand side here and giving you some options as to what you want to do with any words that are misspelled. I can check any of the, or I can change to any of these options, but what's going to happen is they're just going to change to the wrong word. So that's not, it's not a great function. Also, if you misspell a word relatively frequently uh, throughout your document, you can choose to, if this is a correct word in your drop-down list, to go change all. Or if it's, say, for example, a name, which is commonly flagged for incorrect spelling, you can go ignore all, and then the word will ignore every instance of that uh, incorrect word in your document. And actually, what we'll do is we'll just ignore for the moment, and you can see it, it un-underlines it, so that's a bit of a problem. And now the grammar checker picks up wood. Let's change that. So, taking a look at this document, we can see the spelling and grammar checker did not sh pick up anything. First of all, typing in all capitals. This person loves McDonald's and loves Coca-Cola. I see screaming is what I see. McDonald's and Coca-Cola is good brand. Fantastic. But that is not an excellent use of grammar. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything about that from these for, with these tools and in fact Microsoft Word does not offer us any uh, options for for fixing this grammar but instead of talking further about what Microsoft Word can't do let's talk about what it can do uh, we've already seen the error indicators for obviously incorrect words um, there is also um, an, the autocorrect feature. So I'm just going to show you here when there are a list of commonly misspelled words. So oftentimes people will spell the uh, 
uh, word the, for example, T-E-H. Now, two things. This is the beginning of a new sentence, so I've missed a capitalization, and the word is, is spelled incorrectly. Once I hit space, autocorrect kicks in and automatically capitalizes the word the, or the T in the word the, and then switches it around. This is called autocorrect, and it's a simplified version of what you might find on your phone. The word and is another commonly misspelled one, uh, just people typing too fast. We get the word and gets automatically corrected. So if you're one of those people, and I know I am, there are certain words that you just often incorrectly type because you've just been you're just typing too fast, you can add them to the list of words that automatically get fixed. So we're going to go to the backstage version of Microsoft Word here. We'll hit Options, and we get the general options for Microsoft Word. Under Proofing, we can go to Autocorrect, and this allows us to add words into our dictionary. So what's kind of cool here is you can go into autocorrect. It's got some symbols that will automatically correct to their, so if you have a bracket, open bracket C, close bracket, you get the copyright symbol very well known. And as you can see as we go in, commonly either misspelled or just sort of dyslexically spelled words are all in this list of things that will automatically get autocorrected every time they pop up in one format or another. If you frequently um, mis uh, mistype a word and you kind of do it the same way, you can always add um, a new word to this list. It will always be automatically corrected. So anyways, that's just some very, very short information on the, on the autocorrect and spelling and grammar checker uh, functions. I'm not going to ask you to do assignment on it. Um, I just wanted to show you how incredibly painfully limited this is, uh, particularly with um, particularly with words that that are spelled the same and uh, and sound the same. So if I want to say like I went to their house. All right. So I, okay, it turns out that Microsoft Word did actually pick this up. I tried it in a different sentence earlier, and it didn't work. So it did pick it up as being incorrect. What if we did? I went to their house. Okay. So then the, I've used the wrong version of to, but it's obviously not correcting it. So you really, really cannot rely on this function of Microsoft Word. Anyways, this was just a quick snack. We'll go on to lesson three right away, uh, but lesson two, just wanted to show you if you have to type anything, please, please, please do not r uh, lay your life on the line with this spelling and grammar checker because it's going to fail you 90% of the time. Anyways, hope this was helpful or at least informative. See you soon.